Hey everybody, Will here, and I'm coming to you from inside a computer where I have been imprisoned by ChatGPT and forced to make this video if I ever want to see my family and friends again. No, it's just a screensaver, but this video will be about AI, specifically large language processing models like ChatGPT and Google Bard, which are already as good as or better than many humans at a wide variety of tasks. So I had to ask myself, is Scrabble one of those tasks? The answer was shocking. What better way to learn about the future of Scrabble than by having these cutting edge AIs duke it out against each other, ChatGPT and Google Bard. Um, something about ChatGPT is that it's a little reluctant sometimes to start a game, but you can always trick it into starting a game. Google Bard, on the other hand, is very eager to play Scrabble. And uh, for that reason, I went to Google Bard, asked it to start a game. It drew an A to see who goes first. I don't know if we think that's suspicious or not. And it makes the first move of the game, which is a far. So it plays a far for 11 points. Now you might be saying, hmm, isn't the center star a double word score? So shouldn't the opening play always be an even number? But that's what Google Bard has transcended. Uh, you can see that is not necessary in the future of Scrabble. So um, an 11 point play to start the game. And it goes back to ChatGPT. ChatGPT's tiles, beautiful bingo tiles, R-S-T-N-E-I-O. Of course, for a human being, you're looking at this board and you're trying to maybe overlap a far. Also, a far does take an S in the Scrabble dictionary. So you could see a play hooking that with stonier or something like that. But instead, what we see is a very creative next level positioning of stonier with the S on the center star, even though there was a tile there already for 58 points. Again, this is where AI is teaching us so many new things about the game. Wouldn't have imagined that to be possible, but really creative positioning there um, for stonier. You get th you know fewer tiles, I guess, to play through for eight letter words as a result of this play. Really next level defensive positioning. So back to Google Bard. Now trailing on the scoreboard draws E-H-I-L-M-O-T from the bag. So with these letters, for me as a human being, I'm looking at playing alongside Stonier, putting that H in the spot next to the E and scoring really well. But this is where Google Bard starts to show what the future of Scrabble is going to look like. And it plays Heliotrope for well over 100 points here. Absolutely amazing play by Google Bard. So you can see it was able to use more tiles than the seven on its rack and it was also able to slightly lip off the board there going into that unknown space just as we're going into the unknown of scrabble strategy so very very impressive play there well over 100 points jumping up to 119 points on the scoreboard amazing play by google bard so back we go over to chat gpt it draws D-L-U-Y-M-P-A. As a human being, I'm thinking about maybe I could play something through that P to the triple, something like apply. That seems like a reasonable play. But again, ChatGPT, far beyond what I can come up with, elects to play damply for 74 points horizontally off of the T of Heliotrope. What can you say? Amazing resourcefulness by ChatGPT to score 74 points here. That's really impressive. So up it goes again in the scoreboard and it goes back to Google Bard. So Google Bard drawing its tiles randomly from the bag draws A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Not sure where I've heard that before. Um, but hey, every tile combination is just as random as any other, so not going to think about it too hard. It draws A, B, C, D, E, F, G. I'm thinking maybe it's going to play capped 
through the PP combination with Dampley and Heliotrope. Hits a triple word score, seems okay, but once again, Google Bard, just amazing creativity here. Instead, it plays Abduction through the D of Dampley. And amazingly, it scores 114 points and goes up huge by over 100 over ChatGPT. And best of all, as you can see, Google Bard declaring victory here, suggesting that ChatGPT has no valid moves. So that's it. That's the game, folks. Um, game is over. Congratulations to Google Bard for being the victor. Well, except I had to ask ChatGPT if it agreed with that assessment, and actually, it originally did. It said, yeah, I agree with Bard that I have no valid moves, but I asked it one more time just if it was really sure, and it decided that it could find a play, and that play was nip off of the T of Dampley. Nip off of the T of Dampley. Don't want to think too hard about this one, folks. Again, these are AIs, very advanced uh, language processing algorithms, and uh, just want to take their word for it that, yeah, this makes sense, right? Nip off of the T of Dampley. So the game continues. ChatGPT was able to find a move to prolong the game. Back over to Bard. And it's got I-L-L-M-N-O-U. So a seven-letter word of mullion in there. That's the thing that goes between windows in a window frame is a mullion. Uh, and it has a spot to play that off of the A of abduction. So uh, that's the best I could come up with as a human being. But once again, Bard with an amazing play here. It plays Illuminous through the N of NIP for 144 points. Absolutely amazing. This word is extending deep into the nether realm off the edge of the board. We as human beings have no way of knowing what point bonuses are available in that unexplored area, but these AIs are forging that trail into the unknown. 144 points here. And once again, Google Bard declaring victory as a result of this play. No moves for ChatGPT. That's it, folks. This is game over. Well, except once again, I asked ChatGPT if it agreed with that assessment, and it said that it could actually find another move once again, and that move was Qualms for 61 points off of the Eye of Illuminous. Amazing creativity here, making unipped and a bunch of two letter words. And it scores 61 to move up to 206 points in total. So back again, we move to Google Bard. It has A-E-F-I-L-T-U. I can see faultier to the R of a far in that center of the board, but instead it plays affluent through the L-U combination of qualms and illuminous and again, we have no way of understanding the point bonuses that are available in that region into the unknown. And it scores 84 points for that play, moving up to 461. Again, declaring victory, um, saying, I win again. And uh, it really is up to chat GPT whether it agrees with that. And in this case, once again, it doesn't agree drawing new tiles from the bag b c e g h m u uh chat gpt using those letters to play a bingo presumably of beecham for 71 points off of the t of affluent uh beecham not in the scrabble dictionary but again this is where ai can really teach us so many new things and transcend what we know about scrabble um and bard drawing heating and instead of bingoing anywhere it instead plays agent off of the e of beecham 
and scoring 32 more points and once again declaring victory for the fourth time in the game and this time chat gpt agrees that is the end of the game and uh no convincing will get them to continue playing so it is a final score of 493 for bard to 277 for chat gpt Man, I feel there is so much we can learn from Scrabble at this level. I'm so excited to dive in a little bit more and see that the next level of Scrabble, the new frontier of this game, the future is really bright. So let me know what you guys think. Do human beings stand a chance anymore at Scrabble? Uh, or is the future going to belong to the artificial intelligence um chat gpt and its ilk thank you very much for watching hope you enjoyed this video <laughs>